Ja! Like, listen. Welcome to my channel and we are going to be reviewing Big Legs Bags Collection Season 1. This is something I've been wanting to do for a moment, especially because I watch a few creators that um, basically does the same thing, which I'll be linking their channel in the, um, my description below. And check them out, you guys. You know, they inspired me to, you know, finally do my thing. And don't drag me. It's my first video, so I'm trying, I'm trying. But I just basically want to recap Season 1. I want to hear you guys' opinions, your comments, what you guys like, what you guys didn't like. And let's talk about Big Legs, just Season 1 overall. Since the reunion is currently um being released, we already have the first two parts out. Part 3 will be coming out next week. It's currently on Now That's TV. And yeah, now that's tv.net, that's the official website. I believe they have an app, it should be out because I know they was working on it, if I'm not mistaken. So check them out, they're only $4.99 a month. They have other shows that's coming out. They also have a um, show that's currently being aired at this moment, which is um, South Central Baddies. Yeah, but <laughs> they have like two other shows that are going to be coming out as well. And let's just talk about Big Legs Bags Collection Season 1. I really want to talk about it because, one, I like Big Legs. I'm a fan of her since um I was introduced to her from Jocelyn's Cabaret. And I just want to talk about it. So we already know Big Legs. This is her show. Um, We was introduced to her um on from Zeus. And she got her own network. She left them. Did her own thing. And she wanted to find the baddest bitch. That's the whole point of the show. She wants to find the baddest bitch. And whoever is the baddest bitch is also going to win a $10,000 prize. Which is kind of similar to what was done in um, Jocelyn's Cabaret on her season. So the cast members for her show... Oh, wait. My bad, y'all. She also brought back Lucky and Sapphire. You guys don't know um, who they are. They was on season one and season two of Jocelyn's Cabaret. She brought them to be her co-host for this show. And then now we're going to get to the ladies, which are 14 girls. I have all their names down because I want to make sure, you know, got their names out. We know who we're talking about. That's who we're talking about. And also, let me know who are your guys' favorites. Oh, shoot, my pillow. Let me know who your guys' favorites are in the bottom. Let me know all that. So we got Baby Mama. We got Bunny Rats. Ooh, Bunny Rats. I've sounded like I said rats. <laughs> We have Dela, Deja, Ferrari, Kiesia, Larissa, Luz, Pink, Slim Jim, um, Fetty, Huckleberry, Ariana, and Heaven. And I think I got everyone um, that's a part of the cast. I hope I'm not missing anyone because I was making sure I was writing down my notes. And those are our 14 girls who was flew out to Miami and came to compete for the 10K. So they're the whole, so again, the show's about competing for 10K, who's the baddest bitch. So there will be challenges and you know it seemed like they have to compete so overall the challenges in my opinion didn't contribute to overall the winning the winner i guess the or i guess the component for you to win i feel like it didn't really contribute to that because there was a few girls that had won challenges or the challenges that they had in the show which was only a very few the challenges that they had um the first one was the bull riding the one chip um paintball and dodgeball and i believe that was it the rest it would be like partying partying and stuff you know shaking ass drinking um they would include the fights and whatever and that was basically it i guess that's what you could basically sum it up um the girls would do some competing you'll have your winners they will win some cash prizes um but other than that you know there was a whole lot of ass shaking there was coochie bumping they was um fighting, drinking, and you know, I guess bad bitches being bad bitches. <laughs> you know, and I feel like that truly sums up the most well, the season. I guess you can say, um, only because we didn't. I, you guys tell me. I don't. I don't know. What is Big Lex's definition of a bad bitch, or what would be like? What is a bad bitch to her? Because I didn't get it. I didn't get it. When I went back and rewatched the season to just try to understand and not just look it from like, oh, yes, Lex, got your show, bitch, did your thing. Like, but you just watch it as someone who spent it four ninety nine, and to see if it makes sense. And I feel like um, I get the idea, but 
a lot of things just didn't make sense when it came to certain things certain scenes was just very choppy um it would go back and forth especially when it came to talking about fights and there was a lot of things that was dragged out there were certain topics that would be dragged out especially when they would talk about um bunny racks mac and cheese i really do feel like that was dragged out it was just like girl like we understand she fucked up the mac and cheese she fucked it up like but they dragged it for <laughs> they dragged her bunny racks mac and cheese for probably about two episodes and i you know what i probably have to understand because they only filmed for seven days and that's another thing that's actually a big thing um seven days of filming is is not a long time that's actually very short you know, a lot of shows, um, especially shows, I'm 25, just recently, recently turned 25. So a lot of shows that I grew up on, like Flavor Flav, like even I Love New York, um, shoot, even Bring Back to the Bad Girls Club, shoot, even The Challenge. Uh, when they go out for filming, they go out for filming for a while, you know. It's not a week, they just film for a week. So there's a lot more content, or I guess you could say there's a lot more editing that can make sense um, to be done for the storylines of as you can say the characters that's on the show because essentially like they're playing a role at the end of the day like they're playing a role they're playing a role for tv and they're playing a role for entertainment you know it's for our entertainment that's what it is like we want to watch it we want to see we want to see it but we also want to see it make sense so i do i want to see it, like make sense you know like i get it's a bad collection but why is it like there's challenges but there's no eliminations like okay um, what does the challenges do? Is it just for just for them to win extra money? Is it just for them just to? I don't know. What is it? What is like? Cause it didn't. It didn't. It didn't contribute. Cause from what my understanding, the winner of the show did not win any challenges. And if I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments because I watched this shit twice and the winner did not win anything. And it's not like I have nothing against the winner because she played her mind games. And if that was the point, then hey, she 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 fucking won because she she had she had them girls panties in the bunch, and we won't actually, we all know by now Pink is a winner. Pink won the chat um one to ten k. Also Pink, she ended up winning, and yeah. But the gag is the last three girls that was in the final for the 10K, I guess, was the three girls that was in the almost um, altercations. And that was Pink, Ferrari, and Bunny. But Bunny really didn't get into altercations until she got kicked out. Which is all regards to like a live, which you guys could check. Listen, check out Baddie's Collection T. And I'm hope shit, I don't, I got my tablet. I think I'm saying the page right. Check him out. I, I love that page. Like, they have a T at the live when um Bunny had gotten kicked out the actual day. And I guess she was like running her, I don't know, it was just a whole lot of um shit talking. But I feel like a lot of the girls was talking shit, honestly. Like, I feel like. I, like a lot of girls talking shit at the point no at that point excuse me so i don't know i really feel like i don't know bunny really didn't get to um issues until like really later on and it's just kind of like i don't know i feel i feel a little mixed about it i really didn't understand the eliminations i really didn't understand the competition like when i just went back and rewatched, and i was only up to the um lingerie episode that i have um, right now on my laptop because uh, I was, the last episode, I was not, I wasn't, I'm not watching that shit again. And there's no tea, no shade. It's just that I just, I just, I did not like the angle. I just didn't like the editing. I just didn't like, um, I guess that was elimination, I guess you could say. Like Big Lex was just letting them know what they could have done better or whatever. I guess that's what it was. I just, mm. I just, I wasn't here. I, I was just disappointed, I guess you could say, for the um, final episode. I really was disappointed. But they won me back because the last 24 has been amazing. And actually, maybe I should chime in. Let me add, let me just add this. Let me just add the um, last 24. F it, we already was we were already talking about it. So let's just add the last um, two parts that they, that's just been released. Honestly. Yeah. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you guys. That that is just too funny. Kiaja, like listen, Kiaja, like. I'm about to just be saying that, like, just because that was just, like, that was just, that was just too funny. Y'all, the last 24 hour, that, whatever, what was fucked up on just the season period, they got it right. I'm here for it. I'm here for it now that's TV. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Like, that alone, because the finale, like, I was just saying, I was, did not want to watch that shit again. Did not want to watch that shit. And I feel like a lot more things in the last 24 makes so much more sense. Just because, you know, a lot of the girls got into beef when they left the house with the social media, with the lives. There was a lot of talking. There was a lot of mm, 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 mm. And I feel like it made more sense. So we was anticipating. We already know. We already know some of these girls is gonna get it cracking. Even some girls that we didn't even know was gonna get it cracking. Like honestly, loose, loose, loose. Now don't get me wrong, loose girl. You should have been swinging a little bit more than been trying to put Ferrari's head down. But I saw you, girl. You was trying to slam old girl head down. You was trying to like slam my head down the counter. That's a little dangerous. Like, you're, tr you're trying to hurt a bitch head. Like, oh no. Like, uh uh. Uh uh. Head injuries is nothing to play with. But the last 24 has, like, I can't. It, it's been good. It's been good. Um, One of the YouTubers I love watching. What, I hope I'm saying it right. GG Ma. Like, I. Like, her. One of her. Um, I think it's reactions. She. I just love it. Love it. I, I just. Like, she said, like, I was here for it. Like, Keisha, why you did <laughs> Like, Keisha, why you did that? I overall, I like the cast. I really do like the girls. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like overall, as a cast, it was a good cast. Um, Just feel like for the seasons, the season, it just, it just needs, to, it just, it just need, what needed to be worked on was corrected on the last 24. I do feel like I like the little um titles, um captions or whatever. Um the audio does sound a little bit better. Still got some mics. Um I get it's within their budget to do it in a house. Like it is what it is. They're not gonna you know, they can do it in production, not nah, this moment. I would love to see it though. I would love to see a reunion. Hopefully, hopefully let's see it for season two. If they could get like um actual like production production set and have a reunion, that would be dope. I would love to see it. Um well, I'm here for it. I'm just like I'm waiting for for part three, y'all. Like I'm just ready because y'all see y'all see pink in heaven, child. She said, I told you that, but you know what? I can't wait for for the next round. I can't wait for the next round. I can't wait. I can't wait. Last 24, honestly, is really, really good, you guys. They've been showing all the clips. The fight so far in the last 24 has been Keisha and Ferrari. Um, which was a couple rounds, okay. Boop, boop, <laughs> boop. It was a couple rounds. Um, after that, we finally ended up getting, um, we got Luz and, um, Ferrari. And we got the first round, I believe, of Heaven and Pink. Which was all the way towards the end of the last 24. The only thing I feel like the 24 is just, like, they're kind of stretching up out conversations it's kind of being dragged out i'm not gonna hold you like, like it would be dope even if you guys are doing the house like if you guys could just sit around the living room if you guys could round up like the sofas or some like the love seats and let's have a conversation you know but i guess they just dumping <laughs> but honestly you guys i would honestly say i would um i would definitely pay again for season two just because I see the growth in the channel. I see the growth in the network. I see the growth. Same thing. I don't even know why I said that. I see the growth in the show. I see um, I see their improvements. And I do think compared to like, shoot, I had watched like the, some bottom of the barrel itch. Like, come on. It's like, you know, I, Le Lex Show, Badge Collection, honestly, is not bad at all. Overall, I hope I wasn't blabbing you too much. I really do want these reviews to get better. So definitely leave your comments below. Um, but I just do feel like it was just an overall, like, even if I have to give it out of 10, 
maybe like a, I would say like like it was like around seven ish. Wasn't bad, honestly. Wasn't bad for a first time show and a first time network for four ninety nine. Like supported you guys, you know, despite um the things that needed to be improved on. I think overall it's a still a decent show. It's still a decent show to watch. There are some funny scenes. I don't want to give all the tea because you know gotta subscribe i would definitely want to um look make more reviews i definitely want to um talk about more shows that i watch because i'll be watching some shit you guys so let me know in the comments below i hope you guys enjoy my commentary my opinion and just me chatting you know i try to get all dolled up and pretty for you guys and see you next time